Okay, next we're gonna talk about how the lung lobule breaks down into a smaller model called the alveolar model or the alveoli model right here. So let's imagine popping off five alveoli and zoom in and we can see one, two, three, four, five alveoli in a much larger view. And what we're gonna look at here is first the capillaries. So all these on top are the capillaries. Kind of looks like a network of spider webs, but they're made up of endothelial cells. Endothelial cells are one cell thick. So these are as thin as it gets in capillaries because we want that thickness to be super thin. Now you'll notice it looks much like a puzzle. So the endothelial cells are like the puzzle pieces of the puzzle. Now, coming in on top, red, but we're going to the pulmonary vein with these, so these are venules. All these are venules, red, oxygenated, they've just picked up oxygen. If we look inside, we can see the purple one is the arterial. Purple, deoxygenated, it's about to pick up oxygen through the capillaries. Also notice the black lines going across. Those black lines are the elastic fibers which allow the alveoli to expand and recoil when you inhale and exhale. Furthermore, we've got these alveolar pores. So there's a hole in the alveoli that allow gases and air to be exchanged much more easier than if there wasn't that hole. Time to flip it. Now we're on the other side. This is in every alveoli, but this side of the model shows you the type two pneumocytes, also called type two alveolar cells. And these cells, they're mustard colored dots. You can see a couple inside as well. These produce and secrete surfactant. Surfactant decreases the surface tension and allows for that expansion and recoil of the alveoli more easily. Now if they produce and secrete it, something's got to absorb it. And what absorbs it is the type 1 pneumocytes. And these are tougher to see, but this is an outline of the perimeter of one of them. And they are very flat and pressed against the alveoli. So imagine this flat piece, let's use the puzzle piece analogy again, pressed against the alveoli to absorb that surfactant. Finally, something called the basement membrane is this gray line wrapping up and around each alveolus.